Hello, everyone. Oh. You all have sound, right? It's just me that doesn't. Probably. I just tried unplugging and replugging my mic to make sure. Oh, you can almost, almost tell. Welcome in, Alina. Everybody else. Um, so today is the first day of the Color Blaze event in Hello Kitty Island Adventure. I logged in earlier in the middle of the night to do the top hat go to Tama. So I have done the cutscene, but the cutscene was just Pachaco running up saying it's spring, there's new flowers, and he set up a bunch of challenges, just like the island challenges. And that was pretty much it. So I haven't actually done anything with the Color Blaze event. Um, I think I picked up like a stick or something and that's about all I've done in the game. So we're going to check it out for the first time. Um, there is a login bonus calendar. So I did claim today's because it does it automatically when you log in. But we can look at that in the collection and kind of see where we're going to get the different things from. It looks like a really big collection. Um, I think the login is like a two week thing. I think the collection is like 20 items, something like that. So we can look and see what those are. I'm assuming this is going to be sort of like Hugs and Hearts where you do like one challenge a day and get one item a day. That's what I'm thinking based on the way it is. So this will be one of those where you want to be logging in every day. Okay, let me grab this. Let me also grab water really quick. And I am expecting a phone call sometime today, so if it comes in during the stream, we might go on a short break. Uh, just a heads up on that. So, oh no. Okay, so when I was logged on earlier, I noticed that Pachaco had an exclamation point above his head. But I didn't go talk to him, and now you can see it's not there anymore. So I'm a little bit curious what's going on. There's nothing in here. Let me go in and out of the building just to see if that makes a difference. Because now I'm worried, did I mess it up? Hopefully not. Let's see. Hmm. I kind of wish I had talked to him earlier because I don't know why he doesn't have the thing over his head anymore. I'm going to talk to him anyway. Okay. Okay, we can ask him about the Color Blaze challenges. Let's see what he says. Okay, so if you're looking for it, you can tap on your map to see where the challenge starts today. So they'll be in a different location each day. Let's look at our map. Really? It's up? Okay. So today's color plays challenge is pretty much right behind me. It looks like it's where the Hugs and Hearts habitat had been. So I don't know. Alright, this is my jump button. I'm not very good at the challenges. He did tell us in the cutscene that it's just like the, um, the rest of the island challenges with the little pink flowers. And you just kind of step on this button. I kind of want to take a picture with this thing. Can I? Does it fit in the frame? Sort of. I wish I could move the camera up more so I could get more of it in there. I don't know if it's going to disappear or not after I do it. That's why I'm trying to remember to take the picture now, just in case. I have a feeling if it's like the other challenges, it should stay here. But I guess we're just going to step on the button and see where we have to go. I don't have any power-ups, so I'm I'm hoping it's easy to do. Oh! Oh, that's so cool. Not only are they marigolds, but you get the burst of color. Oh, that's so fun. Wait, was that the last one? I mean, I just did it like walking. It was so much fun. 
Exercise and rainbows in springtime is basically the best. Almost forgot. These are new animations for him. Wouldn't be the Color Blaze Carnival without prizes. So he has special prizes for each Color Blaze challenge. So each time we do one of those, he's going to have a prize for us. I'm guessing it's going to be one prize per day as long as you do the course. But if it's still there, we're going to try it again and see what happens. Every day is a new challenge. Thank you for confirming. And a new prize. Yep. Okay. And we can check the map to see where it is each day. So each day, new color blaze challenge. Check the map to see where it is. And if you do it, then there's a new prize. And we can talk to him for a reminder. Okay, and we just got a color blaze coffee table. That's definitely bright. All right, is the challenge course still here? It is. Can we do it a second time? Oh, you can. I love the burst of color. It's like holy, right? <laughs> okay, we only got a sand dollar that time. So... It's not like you're going to keep getting the coffee table. I'm going to do it another time just to see, partly because I like the little burst of color. I appreciate that you can do this one without needing any power-ups or any buddy powers. But do you think we're going to get another sand dollar or are we going to get something else? The little sparkles. Okay, it's another sand dollar. I feel pretty confident saying if we keep doing it, it's probably just going to be another sand dollar. Grandma, what's in your cabin? Can you, can you fit a coffee table in here? Who should we give the color blaze furniture to? <laughs> uh, we have the bunnies over there. What if we gave it to... Oh, just... No, Mimi has actual requirements, right? Who else is over here? You know what? I think... <laughs> I think Grandpa's cabin has like just some iron bars and critters in it. He has the space, so we could display the stuff here. And then we have to go find the other part of the color blaze. Um, alright, let's see our coffee table. Wait, was that it? Where is it? I have so much random furniture. Wait. <laughs> I know it's the only one of its kind, so I don't get to see it in like with a whole bunch of others. Where did it go? It has a yellow top, right? Pretty bright. It's a rectangle. I want to say it has like green legs. Was it towards? It was towards the top and I missed it. So this is the color blaze coffee table. So you can see the marigold is the symbol for this. All right, let's. Uh, so that's a coffee table. You can put one item on it, just like all the other tables. Here we go. We'll put one of the cake. I love the way the cakes look. So that is the Color Blaze coffee table. That's our day one thing. I'm curious if you were to miss today and you did it tomorrow, are you going to get tomorrow's reward or are you going to get today's reward? So it seems like you should definitely log in every day to do this if you want to complete that collection. Um, let's look at the collection. Oh, actually, we will look at the login bonus for the event. There we go. 
Okay, so the login bonus calendar is two weeks and like three and a half days. So you do have a little bit of buffer on there because it is a 14 day calendar and days two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. So all of the even days. Oh, not ten. <laughs> I just thought ten was yellow. Um, all of the even days have the clothing from the event. So tomorrow we're gonna get the skirt. Two days away, we'll get the shirt. On the 6th, we'll get that outfit, the 8th, the dress, and then on day 12 is the crown. You just noticed the soda machine led to use the sprinkles as an ingredient? Really? Yeah, I made a thousand cakes too. I'm assuming we could probably put the sprinkles into any of the machines, but if there's no, like, if there are no recipes left, I think it's going to make generic whatever you know like the generic soda or generic coffee i thought that they were going to disappear i think everybody thought that they were going to disappear i'm so surprised i only have like i think i might have like 10 in my pocket that are still sprinkles but i wasn't expecting them to stay there i thought for sure they were going to disappear because of the section of the inventory that they were in um so yeah, if you want to get all the clothing, at least 12 days. I kind of wish I had saved more. I have like 500 cakes and like 10 sprinkles. Although you can't... I don't think you can display them. If I could, they would be way more useful. Okay. We have... To look around. I saw some earlier. But we have some new flowers that have spawned just for the event. We also have to do regular flower tending, but I want to find the event flowers if we can. Oh, the collection. That's what I was going to do. Let's do those first. Okay, so the Color Blaze Carnival collection is all the way at the bottom. We have the table. It looks like there are 20 items. Looks like one, two, three, four, five. Five of them are the clothing items that we're going to get in the calendar. And that leaves us with 15. So I wonder, are all of these going to be furniture? We have the coffee table already. Looks like there's a chair, a bed, a double bed. Okay, remember last time we had a bed and a double bed for Hugs and Hearts? You had to make sure that you got two of the single bed so that you could bring one over to Pom Pom Perrin and turn it into a double bed. So I, I wonder if that's going to happen this time or not. Looks like maybe a bookshelf or a dresser, a chair. Is that a corner table maybe? A dresser or a desk or a table, a floor, side table, ottoman. Oh, a plant? Another table? Maybe one's a nightstand? Or another kind of a stool and the other one's an end table? A couch and a wall. Okay, so the login bonus calendar takes 14 days to do all of it, but it looks like if we're only getting one prize each day, it looks like you're going to need 15 days to get all the furniture. The only one I wonder about is it could be that it's only 14 days and that you can't actually keep both beds. I don't know. The other thing I sort of wonder about, I'm pretty sure it's not, it wouldn't work. But if you brought Tuxedo Sam with you, would you have a chance at duplicates? Probably not because you're not actually buying anything. But I wonder, the 15 versus 14 is curious to me. But yeah, with it being that long, I think we definitely need to be doing it daily to get everything. Just a lot, but I like that it's just one. Like you do one thing, you get one piece of furniture that makes it easy to keep track of. As compared to like these flower petals, it should become a lot. I finally got everything for the Cherry Blossom event. Okay. 
Oh, here, look. This flower here is new. How do we... <laughs> Need a picture? Okay. So this almost looks like this flower type. Almost looks like a penstemum. But it's not. So let's water it and see. Oh, I was hoping it would bloom. Okay, so this is the new marigold. And they're just kind of popping up everywhere. Wherever they feel like. Unfortunately, so many of my pots are really full. So I don't think I have very many opportunities for them to pop up. But let's see, we have one in bud stage. Is this one new? No, you're just... <laughs> Just my regular spawn. All right, I'm gonna dig some of my flowers up that I don't want to be around. Like that one. I can't fertilize you even though you're... I didn't plant you though. Oh, am I out of fertilizer? No. Right? It popped up somewhere. Yeah. So we can also tend flowers, but I think we're gonna go search for marigolds first. Do we have any up here? Oh, we do. Over here. Okay, so that one came in as... What? The grown and went to bud stage? When we can fertilize this one. Alright, any others up here? I should have taken a picture of it in that previous stage. Why are these all blooming? I feel like they should have done that yesterday. But look, I finally got an ice gradient and, uh, bell button here. So I'm hoping that it changes these guys into different colors. Um, and maybe it makes a, an ice version of those. This is just a duplicate, so we're going to take that out. I did get this one. Oh wait, can we water it today? Oh disappointment stage. This one we got a hot pink gradient tulia. So I'm kind of hoping that it changes color or it changes some of these into a different gradient color. Anything else up here that we need to look at? Mostly just disappointment flowers. <laughs> um, oh let's check the garden by the gate. It has some open spaces I think. Okay. Really? I'm so like, there should be new spawns everywhere and there aren't. Oh, this one has been my yellow gradient, my very first gradient. I've been trying to get it to turn it in, like, give me a yellow hibiscus. It refuses. But I was also hoping it would turn this orange bell button that's behind it into like an orange yellow gradient and it didn't. Um, but my orange went to a gradient, so now I have an orange gradient there. Um, I don't see any of the marigolds. Hi, Shelly, welcome in. You did miss us doing the race and showing off the furniture, but we can also redo it just because it's fun to run through. Uh, right now we are searching for new flowers. Particularly because there are new marigolds that are spawning randomly with this event. I think I'm just going to dig up some of my flowers. The ones that I have so many of. So that we can make room in case additional marigolds want to bloom in the future. Look, look, look. I got purple gradient hibiscus. So... I need to be tending my flowers. I'm not doing that right now. Right now I'm just looking for the marigolds. We found two so far. Let's check the ones back here because I leave a lot of space in this one. Okay, yes, we have one here, right? And that's another one in that grown stage. 
Okay, so we're up to two of the grown, one of the bud. Are there any others in here? No. There are a whole bunch of flowers. They're just not the flowers that I need. Right, this is just another lily. Get rid of you. There are way too many lilies now. I don't know. I want to... I feel like I want to dig some of them up. But I'm not sure which ones. Okay, this one is doing... Yeah, that was a random pentamon. What are you doing there? Why do you keep making more of these? Okay, this one is also... Just like the... I think both of these were next to existing hybrids. So maybe we could have them make a hot pink one in the future? I don't know. Well, here comes dear Daniel to step on the flowers. He's very interested in doing that every day. Okay, we do have... We have the plot that's near the beach and the plot that's on the hill, right? I'm assuming we can... S There's part of me that wonders if I were to plant generic seeds right now, do you think they would turn into marigolds? Probably not, right? Oh, I'm autopiloting it into regular flower keeping mode. This is not a fruitful garden. These are really hopeful, but I don't know. I feel like today is an off day for new flowers because we have the marigolds maybe. Which is pretty neat to have some new ones. I wonder how many we could have. I wonder what I should do to maximize our marigolds. I'm also just like... <laughs> kind of overwhelmed with it. You unlock Tulia, Dandelion, and Bell Button. Nice. Oh, here's our... Here's our race for anybody who came in a little bit later. I love the color explosions with the sparkles. They actually look really nice at night. Ah, come here. Sand dollar. Why are new flowers popping up if you're not putting down seeds? Two reasons. One is if they are... Please get down. <laughs> if they're like this, the new orange ones, those are from the Color Blaze Carnival, the new event that just started today, it seems to be like just sprouting these random marigolds in places and those are event flowers. So make sure you don't like compost them. Yeah, no problem, Shelly. I, I might run through it again, to be honest, just because I really like the effects. Um, So those are event flowers. Protect them, water them, because uh, we don't know how long they're going to stick around or how many we could make. And you can compost them, but don't. Don't compost them um, because they're an event thing. And then the other new seeds or new flowers you might see are because if you have if you have space around a flower like this one, it can spawn more seeds than any of the empty spaces around it. If you have like an empty space and it does spawn a seed. The seed kind of looks around to any of the flowers that are touching it and it chooses two of them and it tries to combine those two flowers. It might just be a clone of one of them or it could be a mixture. So if you have like a red tulia and a yellow tulia and they were both like if this was a red tulia, this was a yellow tulia. This one that I'm standing in, it could end up being a red tulia, a yellow tulia, or it could be an orange tulia mixing the two of them together. So the flowers will make more seeds after you plant them. Um, but then we also have these, which are just special event flowers that just started today. Um, yeah. So you kind of want to plant things close together for a variety of reasons, but you also want to leave space so those new flowers can form. Let's see, we have... I don't think I have any empty spaces up there, though. Yes, a red and yellow dandelily could make an orange one.
And that is how you make an orange one. Okay, I don't think anything else up here is new because these are all filled in. Why is this one? Oh, <laughs> this is a new flower. It's just not the new flower we were hoping for. I'm gonna scoop up those two just to give them opportunities to potentially, you know, make a, make a marigold tomorrow or whenever it feels like it. Maybe we should take care of these since I'm here. Uh, grab that one. Let's see. Really, you guys? Not ready to grow yet. We'll have to wait till- oh, okay, this one was. I replanted some of these as brand new seeds to see if it makes any difference. But I have a- I think this one has a sky gradient in the middle. Let's see, it should bloom because it's been there longer. So I want to kind of see if it's going to influence the other ones when they become gradients. Because we had like one of the working theories for the double gradient was that you needed the gra an existing gradient next to a solid. So if this one is a blue gradient and this one's purple, maybe if this purple one, although purple's bugged because it's a transfer color, but like if this, see in this one, I don't know if this is really white or not. It might be, but say like this green one, if it becomes a gradient, it seems like there's a chance because it's touching this one that it might be green on the inside and blue on the outside. So far that has not worked for me. So we're not sure if that's really how it works. Or if it's just like randomly looking around to the other flowers, which is something we thought in the beginning. And I don't know why we dumped that theory. Flowers are so complicated. Alright, let's dig up some of these just in case we get marigolds here tomorrow. And pick you up. I still cannot get a gradient blue dandelily or a gradient white dandelily. I don't know why. Oh, we have a new seed here. What are you? Okay. We have another one. That is a marigold seed. It's just randomly over here. Can I move you? Because this is not... Con okay, what? <laughs> if you dig up a marigold seedling, you will not get any seeds from this event flower. You have to wait for it to grow in order to move it. Okay, so marigolds... Do not come in seed form. That is important. <laughs> so if I were to dig this up, it would just disappear. It wouldn't turn into seeds. I wouldn't be able to move it. Okay, yeah, let's not. Please, back, back. Cancel. <laughs> we're gonna leave it there. Oh, where did I have a bigger one? Welcome in, Benny. Um... I want to see, because some of mine were grown. Actually, I don't really want to move them, though. All right, let's go. Let's go see if there's more in Merry Meadow. Did we check all of our plots? There's so many to keep track of. Oh, no, wait. We didn't do the one on the island, right? Where is it? the fastest way to get there. I feel like my map is super zoomed in. I don't know if I had... I don't think I had any space over here either. We'll just make some space for potentially in the future. Now we'll go to Merry Meadows, see if there's more over there. Oh my gosh. This looks so filled in. It's... 
I think most of these are intentional. Wait, you are not. Wait, wait, what color am I trying to make here? Oh, that's my green green. Yeah, this is not green. So it doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm just digging up the ones that shouldn't be here. Okay, look, we have another marigold here. And I water it, are you gonna make it? Okay. That's like, what do we call that? Just a sprout? I think this is one I cannot dig up. Um, I think I can dig up this. Oh, is it ready to bloom? Probably not, right? I finally got a sky lily. Ah, tomorrow. Because I moved it. Okay. Thank you for liking the stream. Apparently it helps YouTube know to show the stream to other people. Let's water this. Ugh. I am hoping... Let's see. This one. What is it? Okay, so I have a white gradient. I have been hoping for a white hibiscus and they just... They just refuse. And then I was hoping for any of these, of the lilies, um, to end up going with the pink along the edge when they turn into a gradient, and they haven't yet. Look, 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 look. I don't know if I've shown this one on stream, but I only recently got a white tool yet. So I finally have that, and it finally blooms. And then these... <gasps> Did we... Do it or did I is this the second one I planted? No, not that. I may have just planted that one. Oh Okay. Um so what I've been trying to do here <laughs> just clearly failed. I had this orange gradient. I surrounded it with other tulia, and I have been hoping that one of the other tulia would turn into a gradient and they would have this orange on the outside. This is my only sky tulia, and it just turns into a gradient and it is not orange on the outside. This has not worked for me yet. But now I can't make more of it, so... Uh-huh. Um, what is this flower? I might dig up this one. I should have- I must have seeds, right? I have to have seeds. Please show me seeds. Um, I think it would be regular seeds all the way down at the bottom. <laughs> no! Did I plant it somewhere else, maybe? Okay, we're gonna go to the seed maker and hopefully I have a sky tulia. Just just a regular sky tulia. I'm thinking I might plant it here and see if the double sky could maybe turn this one. Oh, of all of them, it was that. And it wasn't even like a good one, a double. If it was at least a double, I would have been able to do the thing. But it's just a regular. Oh, okay. Like, it's nice. It's something new. I haven't seen it before. But now I can't make more. And I... <laughs> I need to be able to make more of them. Because I just dug up all the plots of Tulia that were able to make more. And this one... Not... Not helpful. Just cloning itself over here. I don't yeah I don't need this one because that's just orange I do have sky bell button though it's so pretty I really like the sky color what I really want is a sky on the inside and blue on the outside ombre hibiscus I am nowhere near being able to do that but it's kind of 
It's that flower from the trailer that I think I like the best. All right, did I... Am I out of fertilizer? Is that what's going on? Might be. Yeah, I... I'm unsure. Yeah, this one should not be in here. Trying to get the sky hibiscus. This is my sky ombre that made that tulia. And it made the, uh, the bell button that was back there. It just cloned itself again. Oh, right. This one could still clone itself, so there is still hope. Where <laughs> just a copy? Seriously, no new ones. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have it over here. Okay, so we will have another one. It's just over here. Just fine. You just got Karupi's character hat? Congrats. Those are pretty difficult to get. Alright, we only saw the one marigold over here. I've been letting my flowers kind of go lately. <laughs> Maybe there's going to be another one over here. Oops. I wasn't paying attention. Just ran off the ledge. Oh, here's my other of the sky. And look, I got an orange hibiscus. This is like only my second gradient transfer color and it took forever. I got purple right away. So I was really lucky on that one. But then all the other ones, I was like, it's never going to do anything. The hibiscus feels so stubborn sometimes. Although it has made me so many purple ones. And I finally got back my yellow gradient tool yet. I, I am so sure I had one weeks ago. And then it completely disappeared. And I could not find it. And it's taken me so long to get another one. And Tulia are my native flower. And just, they would not <laughs> go gradient for anything. All right. I think I have, is it a red? I think this one is a red gradient. I was hoping it would pass on as red, but it's done it for the penstemum. It took a really long time, but nothing else will. And then I was sort of hoping that, you see the purple is so pretty, the violet. That this one would make a hot pink bell button, but the bell button says no. I am trying it with a lime one, so I don't know if that makes a difference. They also won't turn red. They just refuse. What is this behind me? Hibiscus do turn gradient pretty frequently, so I mean, there's that. Am I out? No. Did I already do those? Maybe. There are so many things I just haven't been able to get gradients of at all. But I'm also like, fertilizer is so hard to make. It makes me not want to fertilize everything. I think I'm not going to fertilize this one so that I have one that I know is still, like, okay. Alright, and then we have the plots in the back. There were no... Why am I so zoomed in? We had no marigolds in that one either, right? Just in the first one. Okay, here, we have one here, right? Okay, and that one I also cannot move. Because it's too little. It would disappear if we tried. I should probably maybe 
dig up one of the larger ones. I don't want to because I want them to bloom tomorrow, but it might be helpful to see that we can. Did I plant this here or did this just grow here overnight? <laughs> Hopefully it's not one that I planted yesterday. Okay, yeah, it's perfect. Wait, where did I get... Where did I get a yellow gradient one? No, I just picked up... Wait, that's the one I just picked up. It's a yellow gradient. It's a yellow gradient. Wait, what are you? This is my gradient. Okay, so up here I have a white gradient with a pink outside. I just dug up I just dug up a yellow gradient. Wait, did I put the yellow gradient here because I found it somewhere else? Nothing is ever gonna grow because I have to keep digging them up to see what they are. <laughs> Wait, and now it's bigger. How did it get bigger from me digging it up and planting it again? I I probably brought that here from somewhere else. Also, why are these two two different sizes? Right, let's... We don't need those to be that color. Can't fertilize this one. I guess I must have already. When I can't fertilize it, I'm always a little bit excited because I'm like, is it a gradient? Maybe that's why I can't fertilize it. Most of the time it's just because I've already done it. And I don't remember. Do I have any other gradients in my pocket I could put next to this marigold? A little bit of space, maybe. I could probably find a hibiscus. I think that's what the other ones are next to already, though. Oh, I do have like a, a so many of the purple tulia. So maybe we could put those there. I keep hoping <laughs> for the bell button to turn into gradients, but they're like, no. I did, I did very recently get that green and the orange one though. Those had been fertilized for weeks. I don't know. Just a regular, yeah. Okay, where did I steal a gradient from to put next to one of these new marigolds? I don't know if they're gonna breed like the other flowers do, or how that's gonna work. I feel like we should probably put them next to something. Since as far as we've seen, they only come in orange so far. I mean, it's possible that tomorrow we get new ones and they're in a different color. I don't know. I think most of these I'm just gonna compost. It doesn't really matter. This one... You have so many marigolds in one patch? That's awesome. It scared you because the color was so bright. And they're all orange, right? You haven't seen additional colors of them? See, that's lucky. I wish I had more space. I did get, let's see. I may have stopped counting. <laughs> I don't know if I have one or two sprouts, but I have one, two, three, four. I have at least five, but I only have five, maybe six. But it's because I have so many flowers, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure if there's like a standard this many spawn per day. But it does make me think, oh, I should dig things up. I guess I do have a gradient of this guy already. I've got the, it's just like, this is my original mint. The, this is like my original sky. Probably my original green or whatever this one is. And it makes me not want to move them. Let's give everybody some more space. I mean, like, I don't need another red Tulia here. I 
guess they could go there. Rentulia's okay. Yeah, like, what is this one doing? I don't know what that flower is. So it's probably just a clone of one of these guys. Like, why, why can't I fertilize this one? With the dandelion colors, a lot of the tints to me, they just look so similar. Even if something did change, I, I can't tell. Let's see what that was that I did dig up, though. Oh, okay, it was the peach. So that's probably what this is. Just a regular peach. What else could we put? Dig you up. Well, that might be my original coral. Do you have several of those plants? Do I fertilize them? Do I fertilize the other ones? Someday they'll open up outside lands on the other side of the walls and acres more garden plots to drive yourself crazy blazing. Oh my gosh. Don, they might. <laughs> and it's not a small area up there either. I... It already takes me, like, if I want to water and fertilize all the flowers I have, it's like an hour and a half. Just doing that, which I just, I can't. <laughs> that is too long for me. It is very much <laughs> flower breeding island adventures. Like, it's cool, and I like it, but I'm also like, I, I don't have the time to be able to do things, especially because we keep like learning things and then having to unlearn them. So you spend all the time trying to do a thing and then it ends up not being the right thing to do. Or it is the right thing to do, but it just doesn't happen to be working today. Yeah, I feel like I need so much more space to do all the things and try all the things and figure stuff out. But at the same time, like, I don't have the time to farm, you know, twice as many gardens. I want a flower garden, not a flower farm, I think. <laughs> I don't think I've ever played a game that has so much variation in flowers. Like, there are so many cool colors and patterns and things and types. There's a lot. Uh, wish me Mel. We can go gift her, because I haven't done that today. Um, I forget what it's called, but the... the I'm like the toasty coconut cloud swirly thing. <laughs> Let's go see what it's called. You dug up a lot of your flowers to make space for new ones to sprout. That's great, because you have a lot less to do and much less time. You see, that is smart. And I had kind of done that, and then they started filling in. And then I was like, wait, maybe the ones that fill it in are going to be better, so maybe I should leave them. Like these guys, I, they're mostly just growing, but this is a box around this one. This is a box around this one. This is a box around the Tulia. So like, they're all intentional. But it's like... It's too much. <laughs> oh! My hello there! Do you all have a sky moss laying? He showed up recently. Like, jump scared me the first time because he's so he's like walking in the air. If we go follow him, he's just it's just up there. Walking in the sky. <laughs> but when you're in certain areas, he's so close to the camera, it's like a giant moss laying. Okay, so currently we're thinking in 1.6 you'll probably get a three heart. The hearts don't really matter until you're at best friends anyway. Uh, currently the best gifts are Wish Me Mel, Pineapple Lava Soda, and Toasted Marshmallow Cloud. Which I think is just an almond, right? You can always make more of them. But these two give you the most items back from her, so they're the ones that are going to raise her friendship the fastest. So either of those, depending on what you have access to, what materials you have, 
Some of the other things work too, but these are definitely the top. Um, I feel like I know that by the indicators, they are equal. But for me, it felt like she definitely raised friendship faster for me with the pineapple lava soda. I don't know. It could just be a perception thing or a coincidence based on where I was in the heart. But it looks so much faster. You don't have the recipe for toasted almond cloud. Do you have the cloud candy machine? That's what you thought too with the soda? I think the soda is so much better. <laughs> um, it may not be. Okay, you do have that. Here, let's go make some. Um, I don't, I think it may just be throwing an almond in there, but I'm not sure. We need to go up. Which one is it in? Sorry, I just slid something across my desk that had texture and it was loud. <laughs> I never remember to come up here and collect things. All right, if I want to make Candy Cloud, we go out this way. All right, how do we make her cloud thing? Is it just almond? Oh, okay, it is almond. And Swamp Mellow, if you want to make the Toasted Marshmallow Cloud. So you do need that upgraded version of the Candy Cloud Machine. I think I might not... Here, we'll make one. But I don't have Hello Kitty with me. See, look, they're using the Rainbow Sprinkles. So that one, and then if you don't know... Pretty sure. Is pineapple lava soda just pineapple and magma bloom, maybe? Where am I trying to go? Gemstone Town. We are over here, right? Oops, I was already on it. Pineapple lava soda, yeah. The fizzy crystal, pineapple, and a magma bloom. I think this one is only made that way. A lot of the recipes you can swap out Magma Bloom for Cinnabloom. Yeah, this one you can't. This one is, that is the only recipe. Again, I'm gonna save my materials for when I have Hello Kitty so that she'll double them for me. All right, what were we doing? Oh, flowers. <laughs> so many flowers, all right. Do we need to do anything that is not the flowers? But both of those, you do need the upgraded machines to do it. So if you get Wish Me Mel and you're not at that point, then you'd have to give her something else. Can I fertilize anything in this garden? Is there anything I need to fertilize in this garden? Oh, we should water this one. I feel like some flowers are just like, I'm never going to do anything. I'm not going to go to a gradient. I just want to stay the way I am. Or that it's like some plots I have. I don't know. There was definitely a little while where I thought maybe certain flower types couldn't do certain things just because they hadn't. <laughs> and then like I'd get a second one and it would do the thing right away. I don't know. It's a really hard to experiment when everything is randomized. Because you could be doing the right thing and just have really bad luck for a really long time. I... I can't even tell you what color flower is back here. Because the game doesn't want you to see. There we go. Oh, that was my warm pink. I think. Or blush. Whichever one is harder to get. But both of them are back there. Hey, there's a new... Should probably recycle or compost some stuff. I did some before stream so that we wouldn't have to do all of it. Not gonna compost that one. Okay, there's two of those. I just like I don't know how people have so many. Unless you have a dedicated field that I don't I don't know. You still have to water them all though. 
Because I'm like, I don't want to recycle all my flowers. What if I need that, you know? <laughs> what if somebody else needs that in the future? I guess a lot of the gradients aren't as useful. But like, I don't have... I don't have like a safe plot where they just go and live. That is something I need if the next level just had me... <laughs> If I could just let go plant one of everything somewhere. But even that you can't do because there's like thousands. I mean, I don't have thousands, but the game does. Keep a bunch, but you don't really need 100 spare red dulia. I know, but I think it'll be a lot easier in 1.6 once they stack. Oh, maybe I don't want to get rid of that one. It's pretty. Because right now I might have 100 red dulia. But like, I can't see that I have 100 red tool yet. I have to scroll through everything else. But I think once I can see, like, here's your stack. You have 500 red tool yet. I'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah, I can, uh, I can compost those then. Like right now, you come down there and you're like, all right, there's, there's one, but that's a plant. Wait, that one's a gradient. Then I have... I have two there that I can see on the screen, so okay. Probably don't need both of them, but then there's one down there. And you don't really have a good sense of like how many you have, you know? At least for me, Tulia is my like my native flower. So it's easy for me to make more of the base colors if I need them. It's also like, what, I need a hundred and something fertilizer every day. <laughs> so I have to stand there and do the thing that many times too. Definitely adds to it. But if I did like, if I had the flowers to do it and could do a lot more of it, I could just stand there and keep doing it for a while and then be able to go out and... No, I didn't want to fertilize that one. Turning the colored flowers into seeds and then compost most of the rest of the flowers? Maybe. But then I'm like, I like using the seedlings because they grow faster. But I don't know how much disadvantage there is to that. But also the flowers are the ones you can use to trade, not that I've traded at all. And then you can plant them and I want some that I can plant. Without having to like plant a brand new plant and wait a whole week. They take so long. You do keep most of the seedlings. Wait, 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 that was a... That was a gradient, right? I have another yellow gradient belt. Why couldn't you be something new? Let me see. Are these in the same order? Are they in the reverse order? If they're in the reverse order, it would make sense. Okay, yeah, that I think that was this one. See, when I'm going through, that's the other thing. I feel like I never get to see my flowers. Because you're just like, alright, click the button, but then I'm standing there. And then I have to click the button, and then I have to click the button, and then the button. It's like five clicks per flower. It's just... The seeing the flower and getting the flower is a very brief period of time. So that's how, I don't know if anybody was in that stream, but I found that green gradient uh, bell button in my pocket and I had no idea where it was from and it took me a few days <laughs> to go and find it because I had just been like, you know, doing the flower tending, not really paying attention. <laughs> this guy over on my right, totally didn't even see it. At least when the hibiscus pop up, they are massive, so you see them. The other ones, like, no. I have no idea. Where some of the gradients are so subtle? I don't know. Are we going to be able to make marigold seeds from the flowers when it grows? I was hoping to have one, but I have heard no. Um, just like you're not able to dig up the little ones, I think... I think marigold seeds are just going to be something that does not exist. 
<laughs> Why? I wonder if I should leave one in the sky there. Yeah. So it looks like you will be able to, after they get to a certain point and you get seedlings, then you could. But I guess it'll only be through self-propagation that you get more. So I don't know. Yeah, you have a cute cuttlefish. Welcome to Emotes Plus. That must have been one of the times when I was gifting the ones from YouTube. That also means that you have um, access to some of the members only videos. There aren't very many. <laughs> They're not fancy. Only just started trying that out. Um, and a discount code on the community tab for the shop. And then we have... We haven't been using it very much, but if you link your YouTube and Discord, there is a at least one members only channel. I think there's a members only section and sometimes there's members only community posts. We've done those when we're like making new merch sometimes. All right, Have we fertilized everything in here that needs to be. I'm thinking maybe I should move this one. Swap it with a different Tulia. Cause uh, I'm not sure. I want both of my Sky Tulia to go to Gradients. Oh wait, you're not watered. Doing this every day, I just keep missing things. Or I swear I will have done stuff and then I log in the next day and it, it looks like I didn't dig anything up because it spawned the exact same thing. Or I log in later. I don't know. I think the flowers are haunted. All right, I don't really need a gradient of that. What is this one? Wait, missed one. Gosh. There's so many. I think I did fertilize a little bit before stream. So I'm, I don't have to do the first round, we're only doing the second. Uh, oh. Kind of giving up on these. They, they don't do anything. <laughs> it just become compost now. Right, did we water pretty much? Oh wait, we didn't fertilize you? The good thing is I haven't accidentally trailed anything yet today. It's pretty lucky for me. I feel like every day or every stream I end up doing that by accident. Let's make some more room here. Just in case we get more marigolds tomorrow. Like I don't need so many yellow ones. There's so many down there. Is this share okay, it does, but I already have one of those. Okay, we don't we don't need this many flowers. I can't even remember anymore, like Like which ones because you end up moving them around so much I'll like dig things up and then I'll go and fertilize things or I'll go and turn stuff into compost thinking yeah I have like 20 of those yellow things out in a field and it's like no you dug those up because I needed them for something I guess it doesn't matter too much if I get a yellow of these in a gradient I should probably not waste my fertilizer did I fertilize and water the field out on Cozy Isle? Or any of the ones that are out there? Probably not. The red ones! I 
Do we have we seen any double gradients that use a transfer colored flower? I feel like we haven't, but I'm not sure. I'm thinking for the color blaze guide, I may wait until tomorrow, but I'm not sure. Because it feels like a you have to do it every day and you probably need to start pretty early. And I don't know. Do we do a video for like each color blaze course? Wait, I didn't pick these. Why is that, why is that one there? Is that this guy made this guy made this guy? Sure, you can have fertilizer. I'll water this one. Doesn't matter. Where do we want to go? Regular plaza? Did we do these yet? This one is my purple gradient, surrounded by pink, hoping that the pink will go from pink to purple. And these are my pink gradients with purple nearby, hoping that the purple will go to a purple to pink. And then I'm hoping like these would somehow pick up the pink color and give me like a pink bell button. I do. Oh wait, we can move this guy. Because I finally got a hot pink bell button. Or not a bell button, a pentamum. So now I feel like we have a chance that maybe a hot pink Marigold? Wait, are the Marigolds just called Marigolds? Or do they have a fun name like everybody else? Seems like they should, but I'm not sure that they do. Where did we see it? Okay, we could probably dig that one up. Although that one is next to all the... Let's see if we can find one of the uh, diggable Marigolds that is not currently next to another gradient. That'll be the one we try to dig up to see what happens. Oh yeah, that is my hot pink dandelily. Have one of those. I should probably give it space though. Yeah, I really shouldn't go here because it's taking a spot. Let's dig you up. What do we want to put here instead? Just put another hibiscus. Um. I need to plant that somewhere. I want to plant it somewhere where it has space so it can clone itself. Um, because over here, like, it's fine for just it, but it can't make more. And that's the only one I have, so I want to make sure it can make more. It was, it just... These guys are back here cloning themselves. Why? I don't need those to be there. But I guess they will be free flowers eventually for the composter. So we'll have that. I am kind of glad I got the purple as the first one of the hydra or hydrangea <laughs> hibiscus. Because I do really like those in the violet. And we have to go through here and fertilize everything. So much fertilizer. Missed these. So we're half the time when I'm standing there making fertilizer, it's all hot pink and purple hibiscus. No. 
Oh, I guess actually that would be a good place to plant something. Why are some of these... Is it... If I go too fast, I feel like it doesn't let me. Maybe I just did them and I didn't realize. Ah, oh, this mess. Oh, here's my the hot pink penstemon. I haven't moved it because I wanted to make sure it bloomed. I'm not sure where we should put that guy either. So really, I could probably move this one now. Wait, what color are you? Oh, this is the orange. Okay, so even though this marigold is next to a gradient, it's next to an orange, and I'm... Where's that peach? No, that's orange. They are really different colors of orange, though. I don't know. This one? Yeah, it's just a marigold. What? Alright, we can go see what we can do with that marigold. I guess I don't really need... No, we do want an orange... Yeah, an orange penstemon would be nice. I did get an orange hibiscus, so really I could move all of these. And I don't need... Oh, right. I'm trying to get this lily to change to orange. I don't think it's going to happen. Or, we'll see. It'd be really nice if it did it right there. When I got my first of the, uh, the purple... Or the violet radiant hibiscus it was like a flower like this and i like fertilized it and then i watered it and it popped up into the gradient right in front of me it was really neat i didn't even realize it could do it that way i thought it only did it when you were away this was a nice surprise all right wait you're purple you don't need to exist this is a purple gradient yeah. So I keep hoping with these, but I am increasingly skeptical that this is how it's done. But like, again, it's luck, so like, who knows? I know, maybe it does need to be surrounded by purple. What is this one doing out here? This one can't- there's no place for that one to breed. What is it doing? Oh, this one's purple too, right? Okay. So we could... I think I need to get rid of this one. Maybe we just put that guy over here. Like, it doesn't... doesn't matter. I'm just not sure if this is one that I want to be growing here. Or if this is just a clone of somebody. And I have no way to find out without digging it up. I guess I wouldn't put it back in time because of the stage is at, right? Oh yeah, it's just... It is another purple Tulia, which we don't really need. As far as I know. Maybe we do, I don't know. If I surround you with purple, are you going to do any better? Hasn't shown me that so far. But that means so little. Wait, that one I could do, this one I can't? I wonder why. I was hoping we'd have a whole bunch of color transfers or her first double gradient to show off today. Not today. Hopefully soon. Did we water that one? Yes. I still don't know why these are... Like, how did I end up with them blooming without me having to water them? I guess I probably just missed them one day. Or whatever stage I planted them at. I don't know. Is 
this whole top part had been mostly trying to breed for the uh for magenta before we knew that it was bugged and that's why i had even more of the different tulia and the hibiscus here and in the plot under it i had so many spawns i was like how am i this unlucky it just didn't seem possible How do you think they're going to give us better watering in 1.6? They said it's going to be cute. So if it's cute, I'm assuming it's not going to be just like a basic upgraded watering can, like a farming sim. Because as much as that's like an improvement, I don't know why I'd call it cute. So I'm kind of curious what it's going to be. Oh, this on the left is open because I found the hot pink gradient Tulia over here, but I haven't replaced it with anything. I wonder if what I should replace it with it would be good to go there. I guess I could put another Tulia. Hmm. Do I have any fun colors? Not really. don't think I have a gradient of this one yet. So if I accidentally got one, at least we'd have something different. Okay, is this level done? Finally? Or did I miss? I might have missed Fertilizing stuff? No, we're good. Oh, this one I guess I could pick. And we did the level below this. These are two of the biggest, like, the ones that I'm hoping actually produce something. Um, I kind of want to just run the course again because I like the color burst. <laughs> I may end up doing that. Okay, did we finish? Did we fertilize the ones here? Yes, good. Okay, I think the ones over by the gate still need something. So this is kind of a mess. I think this may be a place where we could just dig some stuff up. That one's useful. You're not. I was still hoping for these blue bell button over here. Just turn into a gradient, please. This one looks different. It's probably just sky or ice. You can see I neglect them. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just like, come on, you've been fertilized like 30 times. Seems like it would have turned into something by now. Wait, what's back there? I didn't even see that one. Get rid of you. Okay. Now we have two potential gradients here. But really I want the yellow, not the orange, because we finally did get an orange. We already do the orange one. Yeah, there you go. I like that the orange and white kind of looks like a creamsicle. All right. Oh, what is? What are you? Was that just going to be a clone then? Do I leave it there? and fertilize it, even though it's taking up a spot just in case we end up with some sort of weird double gradient on it. 
I'm trying to do more, like, don't touch it, but, like, I need to know what they are. They're gonna be just regular, boring flowers. does it take you all? If you actually tend to all your flowers, how long would that be? I definitely need a more efficient setup. Wait, was that? It's probably just a shadow, right? There's no way that it looked like it looked different. It looked different. It looked like it had yellow around the edge, which it couldn't. You can't even tell what's in the flower box. Yeah, it probably isn't because it's just dark out. <laughs> and that's all that it is. What did I even just pick up? It was a hibiscus, right? But it was a gradient hibiscus. It's my one orange hibiscus that I should probably put somewhere safe. So I don't end up composting it in the middle of everything. I'm pretty sure I have multiple of that guy. Does it look weird? I feel like it looks weird. It's probably just the light. Do you have a bed? I'm gonna make it morning. Because there's no reason for it to be. Let's not take a picture of the bed, please. Oh, I don't even know what I clicked because I clicked too quickly. Please be daytime. Okay, yeah, you're boring, right? It's just a regular boring thing. Regular gradient hibiscus. Yeah, it totally looked yellow. Maybe someday there'll be some sort of sprinkler. Seriously. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like whatever it is, I want it to be easy to obtain because you've already put in so much work. If you've been doing flowers in 1.5, that it better not be like 500 iron ingots or something, you know? Like, I don't mind if it's a like a fun little quest or something. Like, that'd be fine. As long as it's not like grindy to get whatever it is. But I'm curious. I want it to be like the mosslings will go and fertilize things and all I have to do is catch them. I don't know. I, I'm all for that. Or maybe I feed the mosslings or I make friends with them or something. <laughs> I don't know. I think there's going to be all sorts of possibilities. Um, we could probably dig up these over here because they're not really doing anything. No, I don't want the camera. And I don't remember what everything over here is doing. Maybe we'll just dig up some of them. That may also be a holding place for some of the flowers. That I, like, don't have as many of. I like the lime, that like bright green. Okay, I could totally water more, but I think we did the ones that are meant to be productive. Did we do Cozy Isle? I know I have asked that before. <laughs> I don't remember. Also, I still have a marigold and a hot pink dandelily in my pocket and they need to go somewhere. Maybe we put one here. What color are you? Reveal yourself. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't want to dig you up because then you'll just go back in time on me. What color are you? Would you be nice to a... 
A yellow and a hot pink? I mean, we could. Wait, is this one just regular yellow? Okay, can we tell? Oh, we'll just pick it. And then let me check my pockets. I'm not sure if, anymore if it's a yellow gradient or a cream gradient. So I'm going to see if I can figure that out. Where are you? Okay, it is the, that's a yellow gradient. So if we have a yellow gradient, our, uh, our, our yellow here isn't gonna, it doesn't matter. So I could put our hot pink one here. Yes. Okay. I'm not really sure what this one is, but it's in one of those like inconsequential plots. So it's fine. I really can't believe I didn't. We were over here before and I didn't do anything with these. Like this one is blocking a lot of stuff, but I'm just going to leave it there just in case. And then tomorrow we can see what they look like. I mean, I assume we know what they look like, but they're going to look like the ones that we run through in the course. Dear Daniel, didn't know which flower to look at. They're all so pretty. I want to take one of the gardens and just be like, this is my neglect garden. Just leave everything there and see if it does anything fun. I forgot that this plot existed. And that's where I had gotten my first hot pink dandelily, or not dandelily, uh, tulia. Which was like my first non-base color tulia. Let's see. Can I... I keep wanting to say hydrate. Fertilize any of you? I don't know if that's because I'm out of fertilizer or because I already did it. Let's see. Wish I knew for sure if these had duplicates or not. I think I have this one in another flower box. For safekeeping. Oh, why? I want to put it in a box that faces forward. Hopefully when 1.6 comes out, they figure out how to fix that. Just turn it around. Okay, what plots did I not tend to... Oh, probably the one in the corner, right? What? My little duck gets stuck in so many places. Yeah, this one. Okay, what? Why? I don't think we need that. I think I am out of fertilizer, huh? Yeah, because otherwise I would have gotten the option right there. I didn't. No! I mean, fine. That's fine. That wasn't like a strategic bell button. It just wasn't what I was intending to do right then. Oh, these I really do need to fertilize. I just don't necessarily want to make more fertilizer right now. These are all the ice ones. This, I think, was my first color that I bred. And then everything else seemed like it took forever after that. But I have so many of them. I so don't need so many of them. Um, it's just kind of here. I think this is 
the plot that bred that hot pink dandelion initially and then I had moved it. Oh, we do have... We have the marigold in my pocket. Let's... Let's not compost it, but let's go see if we can compost it. Um... <laughs> Don't let me click OK. Uh... And we need to put it somewhere. All right, do we see marigold? Where does it show up? Would it be at the bottom, maybe? Why is the scroll bar? The scroll bar is not working. <laughs> I'm using the touch screen because it's so much faster to scroll. I just wanted to go to the bottom and usually, yeah, I can grab that, but it wasn't letting me. Okay. There are things in my pocket that I do want to compost. But I want to see if the marigold shows up. I imagine it will. It's not going to be in the middle of Tulia. Looks like I have a few Tulia. <laughs> I could probably spare some to the compost. All right. More Tulia, more Tulia, more Tulia. Oh my gosh. Half my bag is Tulia now. Hey, wait. So not on that edge. Oh, I should plant that sky gradient Tulia somewhere. Here, no. How about between? I have a ton of those too. Oh, there it is. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, so you'll find the marigold if you do dig it up, or I assume if you pick it too, in between hibiscus and penstemum in your pocket. So for me, I often clear out my hibiscus, so I'm going to have to be really careful because the marigold is right next to it that I don't accidentally compost the marigold. But it looks like you can indeed compost it, or at least you can put it in there. Um, I, I don't want to risk that. <laughs> you know, there's part of me that wonders if I did say okay, would it stop me? I'm guessing probably not. Probably not going to stop me. Um, that's actually an orange, that's a yellow. I'm trying to go through in my head. Like, what are the, uh... Oh, you know where we could put it? Well, that might be annoying to have it there. We could put it in one of these. Like, this is my sky summoning circle. So I could take out one of these on the edges and put it in there. Oh, wait, actually, let's put it... Oh, those are both sky. It's not as efficient. If I put it here... It... Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's put it here. Oh, that's orange. Uh... There is... It's... Oh, there's so many cool, efficient things you can do with this. I think this is fine. Be more fun if I took out one of those though. So I just planted my marigold here. This is a sky gradient. So right here I have the possibility of in the square getting a sky marigold if it works the same way as everything else. This is a purple gradient. So I could potentially get a purple marigold here. And if I opened up one of these other spots, I might do. The thing is, I'm pretty sure this one is orange. Um, but this one is also sky, so if I like took this out, I would have another opportunity to get maybe a sky. I could do the same thing here, only it would be sky or orange. No. I don't know that I need more orange, you know, because the marigolds come in orange already. So maybe I dig up this one. Yeah. It also just gives me if it spawns even an orange marigold here. You know, that's a useful place to have one. It's just going to take me longer to get that one to turn into a flower. Oh, 
Okay. Do I have any other weird flowers in my pocket we need to do something with? Like other gradients? Are you? I mean, I have some fun colors. I think we have most of these like already represented in a garden somewhere. What seeds? Did I luck out on any like special gradient seeds? Probably not. There is part of me what wants to see if you were to plant one of the generic seeds. It's not going to be a marigold right now, right? It's not going to suddenly change because that would probably mess up everything else. Now, I don't need all of these here, probably. Probably more than I need. I wonder if I were to put like a... I don't know, a red Tulia here and a purple gradient Tulia here, and then you have the purple friends. If they could all gang up on that red one, <laughs> if that red one would go gradient. But the gradients take forever for me. I have had three so far that might have had the potential for a double gradient, and they just didn't. So we know if it does work that way, it's only a chance. Which makes sense, because the way everything else worked. I think there's probably a ton more to do. But I think we may stop here. Let's see. I probably missed like a million flowers somewhere I just forgot about. My phone call never came, so we didn't get interrupted, which is kind of nice. Um, let me see. So we do have a Discord if you want to connect with folks outside of the stream. Um, I know some people are looking for multiplayer and trading in there too, so if you want to help them out, the Discord is a great place to go help some folks out. I know I was going to go do multiplayer with somebody the other night and then I had a bunch of other work <laughs> that I suddenly had to do because somebody gave me stuff. So I wasn't able to, but hopefully somebody else will. Um, there's also the shop. If you haven't seen the shop, oh wait, let's see, does the shop link work? It does. I know we talk about flower breeding island adventures, so we made, <laughs> we made the march for <laughs> our devotion to the flower breeding, but there is a ton of stuff. Um, related to this game and then cozy gaming in general, the little cuttlefish, all the different things. The newest stuff though is the flowers. Um, but there's also like the hat collecting, the rockadoodler wrangling, and a bunch of random stuff like the fwishing stuff. I do have, I think, two new fwishing hats that I'm like midway in designing, so those will be up soon. Um, I had ideas for spring stuff too. But that'll probably be like April, <laughs> maybe even May, depending on how busy I end up being. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I think we're going to end here. There will be a guide to the Color Blaze event. I'm going to probably wait until I have, till I can see how tomorrow goes, until I can see some of those marigolds bloom too. Um, and then I might do videos each day of each of the courses, or I may just stream again. Um, I'm currently planning on streaming Wednesday for Disney Dreamlight Valley Dream Snaps. Um, and then we may have some major schedule changes, but I'll try to let you know in Discord or on the community page. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. And it's not the weekend anymore, is it? So I hope you have a great week and hopefully I'll see you next time.